Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you, giving you my first impressions of the OSRS mobile app. Uh, I got invited to the beta for this, luckily, and I decided to record some gameplay for you. Um, it was screen recorded, as you can see. I didn't get a camera and just record the screen on my phone. I was going to think about doing that, but I figured it would be better to just record the screen of the phone, as then you can get a better idea of what you will see. My phone that I'm using is an LG G6, so it's not a crazy high spec phone. Um, it's got the specs for like late 2016, early 2017 flagship devices, so still a pretty good phone. And the game ran pretty much perfectly on my phone. Um, I seem to get the FPS cap of 50 in basically every area, other than like GE. Sometimes it would drop a little bit, but I mean, it does that in actual runescape on the computer as well so it's not crazy different the interfaces are pretty well uh, usable um, I thought it would be the most annoying thing when they're really small on your screen and you're trying to navigate around them but I got used to it pretty quick the only annoying thing is like clicking on NPCs is sometimes really hard especially like the tall leprechaun as you'll see in my farming run I've just got clips of it running in the background so you can kind of get an idea of what is on there. I've shown also there's like a uh, fixed mode and normal mode stuff like that so you, you, if you just watch the video you can see a bunch of features that I'll just keep showing throughout um, whilst I'm because I'm recording this after I've recorded on my phone uh, but yeah that was the main issue for that because uh, you have to tap and hold to right click and sometimes you'd like quite often miss the NPC because of how small they are on the screen but I guess kind of that's just something that you have to deal with on the phone I can't really see them implementing something that could improve that <coughs> uh, the other annoying thing is there's no shift drop uh, obviously this is the very first test open test for the game or close but the first proper test and so this will probably be implemented on release um, because dropping things is like so annoying I, I you couldn't go fishing or anything on the, the phone like by the time you dropped all your fish it's just would take way too long but I'm pretty sure they are adding this in the future I swear I heard something like that but yeah for now um, dropping is kind of annoying but I'm pretty sure that's gonna get fixed bank scrolling as well can be a little hard especially at the beginning I have got used to it now but just clicking the um using the scroll bar on the bank kind of you know sometimes you misclick and end up walking out the bank and stuff like that so I think if they could in the future add like a multi-touch um, thing like yeah they, they have on like laptops where you can use you know two fingers to scroll up and down that could be quite a good feature uh, for the bank but I mean it's just I guess it's just something you gotta get used to you can't have like the most amazing experience on the, on the mobile app the other thing is the right click seems to be kind of inconsistent um, in the bank it seems to be could have this the wrong way around but you you hold it down <coughs> then the right click comes up and then it doesn't disappear while you have your finger off the screen but then other times you have to keep your finger on the screen like if you're trying to drop something in your inventory you have to keep your finger on the screen the whole time and just pull it down um, so that's kind of inconsistent but this is obviously just for the this version of the game this is just the first impressions of the first version this won't be the release version also I tested the fletching um, thing that got popularized by a friend where if you went on a touchscreen laptop um, you could fletch like insanely fast get crazy XP rates um, I personally couldn't replicate this I could only do a maximum of like two per tick and I think if you use touchscreen you can get up to upwards of like four or five however if maybe you know people start playing this on their iPads and stuff when it comes out properly or tablets you might be able to do it on them, but on my phone, I find I found that the um, you know, the inventory slots are way too close to each other for you to be able to do it properly. And tried as hard as I could to tap on them, but it wasn't really working. So they might have limited that somehow. I don't really know how they would have done that, but it looks like they might have, because they didn't want everyone just getting the app and getting crazy fletching XP an hour. Because obviously not everyone has a touchscreen laptop but ev pretty much everyone has a smartphone now so another thing that I'd really recommend they add is a uh, like an item overlay like in OS Buddy and Conduit and stuff usually like I don't really care about the stuff on desktop but when it's on your phone the items are so small on the floor that you literally like 
can't really tell what they are like you can but it's kind of you know and then you have to right click and right clicking is pretty aids I'm not gonna lie on the app especially if you're trying to click something so small it won't be such of a problem with people with like the Galaxy Note where they get the stylus I can imagine that being the best way to play it, uh, if you have a stylus for your phone but the items on the floor are pretty small so I think an item overlay might be a fix although I don't really know because you never know until you test it but the main use for the app for me will be pretty much doing farming runs while I'm out um, you know like at college or whatever and then also things like when they add the drops things like fishing I'll probably just do things that I don't want to do whilst I'm at home things that I'd rather not you know when I can be doing slayer and bossing and shit and then I can do all the other stuff on my uh, phone I do think that you could probably play just on mobile like if you get people who only have only want to play on phone I'd say it is probably possible uh, I can see a lot of people making like phone only Iron Men and stuff like that. Uh, PKN might not really be an option, more of just like a fun game, um, fun game thing. I'll probably do some PKN videos on it because if they got the tournament servers up, so it's just because uh, unless you're in fixed mode, it, it might be okay in fixed mode, but in the other mode, the two because you have the th things on two sides. So unless you play like you would on another game where you have your two thumbs on the screen, which is the best way to play this is to just have it in your hand and use your index finger. Um, I can't really see PKN as an option, more of just like a fun game challenge thing. And then battery life, uh, it did eat up my battery quick, pretty quick, but my phone does have a pretty bad battery anyway, so obviously this varies depending on what phone you got. But I'd highly recommend a portable charger for this that's what I'm going to be using anyway because same with like Pokemon Go and stuff if you ever played that it just drains your battery so much but most people have portable chargers now anyways phone did get quite hot as well whilst playing um, this could have been affected by me recording the screen because I haven't played it yet without recording that could be the, what, the reason why it got so hot also again depending on what phone you have different phones will vary but it does seem to use quite a lot of your resources which is kind of expected I mean it's definitely like in my eyes probably the best phone app there is it's a huge game on a mobile it's really good like I don't think there's many other apps that can compare to how much content there is in this mobile game probably has the most content out of any other game there's noth nothing else really like it also the fact you can hop between your computer and your phone so you can literally play it wherever you are is just amazing also, I don't know if it's just a bug or just for this, uh, I'm, I'm guessing they'll fix it in the future if it's not just a bug for my specific phone or version, but there was no game audio, I couldn't seem to get any audio from the game. I haven't tried it with headphones yet, that's just out of the speakers, um, but yeah, that's just another thing that is in this version of the game, so. But yeah, so far, this is just my first impressions, I'll probably do a more in-depth review as after I've played it for a while. Um, I think the beta lasts like a week or six days I think it's till next Friday uh, so I'll be playing it quite a lot throughout this week and uh, I'll come up with uh, probably after the beta ends I'll come up with a proper analysis of the whole thing things that I like things that I don't like and uh, yeah so if you want to keep updated with OSRS mobile videos then make sure you subscribe because I'll definitely be making more and thanks for watching